So I'm Morgan. Yes. So I know you. Yes, you do. But most people that are probably watching don't know who you are. What What is Sorn? Why Sorn? A friend of mine once said, good art comes from a need. And for me, it's, it's about healing. It's about taking the tears of suffering and using them to water flowers, water the flowers of potential. And so with all of the artwork, with all of the music, it's... Um, there's two dimensions to it for me. One is pulling from real life experience, from real people, from real emotion. And then the other side is the other dimension, and that is making it into something to go to, to escape to. So you, the energy of your shows is crazy. Uh, not crazy, but it's very different. One of my favorite ones was in San Antonio, that's a very long show where you just it was all in, you know? I felt like completely submerged in it and I loved it. Do you feel affected by it? Are you, did you get high on your own music? Yes, I think I have to. It's You have to. For the, for the performance to work, uh, for, for the whole thing to, to work, I have to enter into a, a trance-like state. Yeah. Um, people ask me sometimes, you know, what your favorite show has been thus far, and I don't really know because um, it's more a general thing when I can feel people responding. I think those are my favorite you shows. You play off of each other. I guess the yeah, energy is absolutely. there. Yeah. And one of the things that I love is that more and more people are coming closer and closer. And then yeah. into the last handful of shows, people are singing louder than me. Do you think your other uh, <laughs> band members, uh, Dean and Kevin, are just as affected by the entirety of the show? I think they are. And they seem like they are. The truth of it is, I feel so blessed to have them as a part of this because uh, I've played with a lot of different musicians, different people, but the two of them have s such open minds, such open hearts, and the two of them are listeners. I couldn't ask for, for two better people to be a part of this thing. And um, Good. You know, I, I guess the chemistry, it's like a relationship. Oh it has yeah. to be right. and The chemistry is incredible. You, uh, have to, you work yeah. together, you travel together. You Absolutely. I mean, you just went on tour, yes, yes. with them? That was a good example of just how good the chemistry was. We were we were at, uh, invited out by TV on the radio for four dates in Florida and then a date at, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Wow. We played in uh, Tampa, Florida, Orlando, Jacksonville, and Miami at some incredible venues. What, what are your musical influences? What inspires you to make the because your, your music is very tribal to me, you know? You have very primitive sounds and, and it's very exciting. Yes. And so what is, it, what is it about why so primitive, why so tribal? Well, you know, I don't think it was intentional. I think um, when I came to Texas about four years ago, I, uh, I really didn't have much in the way of musical equipment. I didn't have anything. Uh, I had a computer and I had a simple little audio interface and all these ideas, but no real, not a real studio to make them. And what made sense, and what makes sense, is to not let that inhibit the work. So therefore, in making the record, I would just look around the house and I would find, you know, I'd hear a printer sound that had a tonality to it that I really liked, or my little Jack Russell's ears, you know, would be flapping. And I remember I caught that on a recording, and the, the timbre of her ears matched so nicely as a rhythmic piece in this one song. And that's how you made House of Stone? Yes, everything on that record was made in a house using the sounds of that house. And then, and I'll say this, I think for me, if I choose to use an instrument, there's a reason for it. Like, some of the songs I haven't released yet, uh, you, you know, there's the use of piano, there's the use of guitar. The guitar was my father's, the piano was my grandfather's. And the truth of it is, I feel like this work is not about me. It's more or less me being a vessel for the work and stepping aside and allowing that creative energy to flow. Um, I, I consider myself to be a steward um, to the work. So what's next for you? We have a show at Frank um, that's coming up. We're also working on a, the, the show you mentioned from San Antonio. We're working on bringing that to Austin. So we're excited to be... You're working on that? Yeah. And the Frank show? Yeah, that's going to be February 17th. Nice. Uh, we're playing with Boyfriends and Knife Fight. Uh, it's put on by Red River Noise, so it should be a pretty cool night. So where else can we find your, your music and 
It's uh, available on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Zoom. You can download the album for free if you'd like on Bandcamp.com. Really? Yes. Why is this? Because I feel like I would rather you have it than let a dollar sign inhibit you from having it. You can find uh, info about the, the narrative behind the music and uh, downloadable media. And when you, where you will be and when? Correct. Okay. Yep, all on Sworn.com. of a love that was real from the sea Ooh. 